Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be doing something quite interesting. Today we're going to be installing macOS 10.6 Snow Leopard on this Power Mac G4. Now I know some of you are about to scream at me in the comments and go, Michael, what are you talking about? Mac OS X Snow Leopard isn't compatible with PowerPC CPUs, it's Intel only, you should know this, and believe me, I do. But what you may not know is that towards the very end of the PowerPC to Intel transition that occurred in the mid to late 2000s, Apple was still developing Mac OS X Snow Leopard, and because of that, they released a couple of developer beta builds that were compatible with PowerPC CPUs. They were, in fact, compiled for the platform. So, we're going to be checking out one of those beta builds today and installing it on my Power Mac G4 Quicksilver with dual 1 gigahertz CPUs and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Certainly a very capable G4 machine from this time. Now, I'm certainly not the first person to make a video about this. There's a great video by fellow YouTuber Action Retro who does a bit of a tutorial on how to install this on your PowerPC based Mac. Today, though, we're going to be exploring, this is going to be kind of my take on it. I've never checked out this version of Mac OS 10.6 before and I thought it'd be pretty cool to install it. About installing it, there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can go the more difficult route and actually download the ISO file and install it on a machine and deal with installing drivers. It just sounds like so much fun, right? And you would think that that's the route we're going to go judging from the kind of tech experiments we do on this channel, but we're actually going to take a bit of an easier route today, which I know some of you may be like, come on, Michael, you got to give us a challenge here. Well, we we very well may run into something because, I mean, this is an MJD video after all, but we're going to be going with the more simplistic method of restoring this machine, at least a partition on the hard drive, from an already installed image of this beta build of Mac OS 10.6. And this was very graciously provided by somebody over on the Mac Rumors forums, which is where uh, a couple posts really reinvigorate a lot of interest in these beta builds of Mac OS 10.6. And it was because of somebody on the Mac Rumors forms that we have this uh, this pre-installed image because he essentially installed it on one of his Macs and then installed a bunch of kext files and drivers and configured everything properly to where it's going to be easier for all of us. So I really appreciate that person for spending the time and doing all of that. So thank you to you. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, so we've got the DMG file stored on this USB drive right here. So here it is. So we're going to open open up disk utility here. And the first thing we're going to do is make a new partition. So we're going to shrink the existing partition on the drive. So we'll actually select the disk here and we'll go to partition and we're going to add a new partition and we'll call this one Snow Leopard and we'll make it Mac OS extended journaled and we will make this, let's do 50 gigabytes. How about that? So we'll still have the majority of the disk for our main install of and this is mac os 10 leopard by the way and we'll say volume will be added the this volume will be resized the existing one no volumes will be erased partition that's definitely what we want modifying partition map and if you're wondering this right here is the build number so the build number is 10a190 this is a client build anyways we'll go ahead and minimize well actually we're not going to minimize this here because we've got our new partition so there it is so what we have to do with this image here is drag it into disk utility and we have to click on it go up to images and scan image for restore. So it'll scan that, we'll enter our password here. All right, so it's finished that. So now all we have to do is go to our Snow Leopard drive here, our partition rather, and we go to restore, and we're gonna drag our DMG file to the source and drag Snow Leopard to the destination. And we will click on erase destination and restore, erase, and we're going to type in our password once more and there we go all right so we've just finished the restore process and we have our new snow leopard partition right here so all we should have to do is boot off of that partition by restarting the system and holding down the option key so let's see if it's truly that simple and there we go so we're going to select snow leopard and we're going to click the arrow and let's see if we can boot in to Mac OS 10.6. We got the pinwheel, so that's a good sign. Oh boy. 
Oh man, there we go. So that is the intro video. Okay, so what just happened there is it played the audio from the introduction video, but it didn't actually play the video itself. It just went straight here to the first prompt that it asks you. So we're going to select our country, which is the US, and we're gonna go with US Extended for the keyboard layout. We're not gonna bother transferring any information. And we're just gonna select my computer does not connect to the internet because we don't have uh, all that configured properly. And we'll press Command Q to skip the registration process. And we'll make our user account. So I'm gonna call this Michael. And sure, we'll leave it in Pacific time, that's fine. Don't forget to register. Yes, we're absolutely going to register this old <laughs> beta build of Mac OS X. But that's, I mean, great sign so far. The thing boots up, we can get through the introduction process, no problem. Let's see if we can get to the desktop. I mean, the only thing is that intro video didn't play, but I wonder if that's just, maybe it was just not present in this uh, beta build here. What's also not present is the new Snow Leopard wallpaper. You can see this is the Leopard wallpaper. Yep, Mac OS X version 10.6. That's it. So it's, gosh, that's just really cool to see. Like, I honestly never would have thought that I'd see 10.6 running on a PowerPC system. What else do we want to take a look at? Well, to be honest, <laughs> there's actually not a whole lot of features to take a look at compared to Leopard because uh, Apple famously when they introduced Snow Leopard said that it has no new features because it was focused mainly on stability and performance improvements. Leopard really introduced a, a ton of new features, as I'm sure we all know. But Snow Leopard was the first version of OS X to be branded around uh, more of an improvement, an incremental improvement release, as opposed to introducing a ton of new features. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's how easy it is to get to this beta build of OS 10.6 installed on a compatible G4 or G5 system. Again, we did go the easier route in this video just by restoring from that DMG file, but trying to do this from scratch and trying to you know deal with all the kext files and drivers ourselves is something that we could do in a future video but i really just wanted to see this up and running on this system and well it is a sight to see for sure so there you have it guys that's going to wrap it up for today's I'd say quicker episode than what you guys perhaps are used to, but hopefully you enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and get subscribed down below. Turn on those notifications if you haven't already, because I upload new videos like this every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.